Hey YouTube, this is Homie G Dog 456 here, bringing you a tutorial on how to maintain a healthy freshwater aquarium. So what will you, you will need to do this is your basic tap water conditioner, some bio support, otherwise known as cycle or stress zyme. Um you don't have to have this, but I like to use it. It's called Tetra Easy Bounce, and that stabilizes pH and alkalinity, alkalinity levels, and also adds vitamins to the water. And you, I would recommend using this. It's aquarium salt, and it improves gill function. Um, improves gill function. and reduces stress and also promotes disease recovery so it actually does more than you think it would alright so those is what you will need for up there and you'll need a bucket any bucket will do really that's just a dollar store bucket there you'll need a siphon as you can see there the siphons right there um, I'd recommend a net, a medium sized net, sorry for all this stuck to it here, a medium sized net for scooping out dead plant material or dead fish. Um, another thing you'll need is something like this, just hold on one second, so this is what happens, it comes apart, one side goes on one side of the aquarium, the other goes on the other, and it's magnetic so and it takes away the algae off the side of the aquarium which is really helpful if you want a good looking aquarium alright so weekly maintenance you have to or actually daily maintenance you have to keep up with will be to check the temperature on your thermometer I recommend for it to be around 80 degrees check your heater to make sure it's working properly check your filter it's even more important to make sure it is working properly or you will eventually have a very cloudy aquarium. Check your fish to make sure there's no signs of disease on them. Because if there is, you'll treat that immediately. And that's about it for daily maintenance that you need to do on your aquarium. But weekly maintenance, you'll have to do about a 20 to 25, I would say, percent water change you can get away with 15 to 20 percent I usually do 20 to 25 percent so I'll just show you how much that is there it's about maybe that much it's in around there somewhere is what I would do take it out with your siphon and then the bucket and you then you just dump the bucket water out and fill it up with cold tap water I know some people say to match the temperature in that new water to the tank water, but it's not really necessary. If you just do cold water, it should be all fine. But when you do, before you put the water in, don't forget to dechlorinate the water with whatever you're using. I'm using Nutrafin Aqua Plus. And if you'd like to add some bio support, and that would be very helpful and for and another thing for weekly maintenance you might also want to check your plants because plants die before fish so if they're looking good then your fish should be fine that's a little tip there and before I forget don't forget to add your aquarium salt or or end some easy bounce and you might also want to use that because algae may start to grow after a week but you really only need to do that monthly so as we get into our monthly maintenance there's not much you need to do not much at all mostly all you'll need to do is change the filter cartridge and that's a monthly thing you'll need to do and that's pretty much all you'll need to do is just change that because you can see already after 
couple days and mine's getting gunked up. The bio wheel, never change that. Never change that. Alright, in case you have any questions, I'll try to answer some of them here. This is an Eclipse Aquarium, as you may have seen when I showed the filter. It's a 30 gallon. Right now I have two koi, I think that's how you pronounce it, angelfish in there. I also have a pearl grammy. It's a fairly new tank, so they're still, they're still kind of skittish. And they haven't been fed for a couple of days now because they won't come up to feed, so hopefully I can find something to do there. But anyways, thanks for watching my video, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see. And give me a thumbs up. Thank you. See you later.